Good morning, Mr. Frost here, coming at you guys. I'm doing this door. This door right here, they had a dog apparently that liked to get inside and scratch. So you have all this, all these scratch marks. So I'm going to try and save this door is what I'm doing. So we've gone over in the past three different products that I like to use. This is Ready Patch. Usually I use this on exterior and this is an oil based product but uh, dries fast, easy to sand. But on every task I have a favorite product. This one here is good but when you start you know on doors that people use a lot and this is going to be a little thicker than usual, okay, I don't like to use that. I've showed you the Bondo, which on the last uh, job I used it on, it cracked. So I have not used this as much as expected. We're going to go back over a product that I've reviewed before, and, but this is a demo video. This is uh, Durham's Water Putty. Okay, I'm back at that on this job because this really dries hard and it usually sticks pretty good. You just have to make sure that you get all the loose stuff off because if you don't, this product is going to stick to the loose stuff and then it's going to come off. Now when I do something like this, I do it in like three steps because I don't want to put a big old glump of stuff on here. I like to put a small layer, come back, a couple hours later, put another layer, and then hence another layer. Three layers usually it takes. So, you want to make sure you got yourself a bucket. A spackle tray will work also. Okay, but you want to make sure most of the stuff is out inside, like sometimes I get paint. I use this for paint, I'll have paint in it, and I mix, mix this Durham's in one of them, and the paint chips went all in the Durham, which wasn't too smart, but make sure it's clean, okay? You're going to dump a little bit of your putty in, okay? Then the smart thing is to get water in a little container. And just dump in a little bit at a time. And then mix your water putty up. It takes, you know, a while to get used to actually how much water to putty you need. So I usually just mix a little bit. You want to make sure all your clumps are out of it. Okay. Now that was a little bit too much water. I got a pretty big area, so it's not going to get wasted if I put more powder in. More powder in. And I usually describe it as the consistency of oatmeal. If you eat oatmeal, you want this powder to be like the same consistency. Okay. okay, so you got your consistency, I don't know if you can see that or not, okay, that's about what it's like, it kind of sticks on there, but it will slide off, okay, it will slide off after a while. But it kind of sticks to your knife for a little bit and then falls off. That's the right consistency. Alright, so then you're going to take on your knife and you're just going to pull it over. So you got a nice little layer going on. You're going to keep doing this all the way down. At least on this layer, you're going to fill all the cracks and make it flat with the cracks. I'll come back later and do other layers to get it to get it nice and 
solid. But right now we're just filling these cracks with the material. And you can sand this stuff, but I recommend that you don't wait long to sand, all right? Because this stuff really gets hard. I mean, really hard. We're to the point where it's actually hard to sand. So I'm just running over with a light coverage to basically take out all the grooves that are in the in the wood. Do this whole area. I should have taken this doorknob off. Sometimes I forget the steps. But anyway, again, this is Durham's wood putty. Okay? And we're taking and putting it on in steps. It's basically like spackling, but spackle would never hold up here. So you wonder, you know, why they make so many different materials to do the same job. But believe it or not, each one of these Bondo, Ready Patch, and Durham's has its own purpose and situations where they work best. In this situation here, I'm using this water putty. You've seen me use it on siding. Okay, it's really good interior, exterior. This is going to be a door, so it's going to be on in both exterior and interior. It's the outside of the door, so basically it's exterior. Hey, if you have any comments, leave them. Questions, leave them in the comments. I'll answer them. Like and subscribe, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Faust. Dom's water party. I'm out.